Oh, man. How you guys been? My name is Metal Music Man. Uh, this is a Let's Play, I guess, sort of. Not really, just a single episode of uh, Heroes of the Storm. And this is the first video I've done in, like... I don't even know. Like a year, like a year probably? So I got a margarita with some really sweet tequila in it that uh, my buddy got me for an early Christmas present. And um, we're going to play this game. So I uh, hope you guys have been good. I, th I was thinking about doing a stream. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for the stream. I don't know if I want to stream. Sometimes I think I do. Sometimes I don't. But the, uh, the idea of just doing, you know, the microphone and the game felt a little better to me. And I'm still... You know, I'm still reeling from the wound that Street Fighter V has left in my heart. <clears throat> Before we get going, speaking of that, I just watched Capcom Cup 2017 because, you know, you always like to stalk your exes. <laughs> and uh, it was actually, it was, it was pretty decent. Not the whole thing. I mean, the, the finals were good, I will say. Like, Mena RD versus Taquito. The finals were good. The rest of it, I don't know. I just kind of, like, put it on in the background while I, while I mess around with some other shit. And, uh, yeah, you know, game's still bad. Um, but, uh, I, anyway, the reason I'm going on this, not just to ramble on about Street Fighter V, but I think, surprisingly, Capcom did a pretty good job of hyping up the Season 3 characters, which I was really shocked by, because, you know, they're normally really stupid, Capcom, and they don't <laughs> know how to market things properly. But, uh, I thought it was pretty good. They actually showed all the characters, they finally showed Sagat, Cody, everybody's hyped for so, I don't know. I still have zero hope for the game, um, because I'm pretty sure there aren't going to be good gameplay changes, but we'll see what happens. So, anyway, that's enough about Street Fighter, a game that I don't play anymore, but still pay attention to, because I hope that it's good. I'm going to play this game, which is Heroes of the Storm. I think we're going to play Ranked. I'm uh, embarrassed to say these are my rankings at the moment. I haven't played this game... Well, okay, let me backtrack. I've been playing this game for about the last, like probably month, uh, and that was after I hadn't played it for at least a year, maybe longer, no, longer than a year, probably, probably like a year and a half or something, maybe almost two, I'm, I'm not sure, but I played this game a shit ton when it was in alpha, and uh, I just kind of quit because, I don't know, I was focusing on other things, and I didn't really like some of the hero uh, release frequency they were doing, because, you know, MOBAs. Anyway, I'm going to queue up <clears throat> while we're waiting, since we got to wait. But, uh, yeah, I kind of quit and didn't play it, and then, you know, Street Fighter died, and I played WoW for, like, almost a year. Um, and uh, then I was like, yeah, I'll try this game again, and I was like, you know, why did I, why did I ever quit playing this game? It's pretty good. And now, a month after I've been playing it, uh, I remember why I quit playing this game, which is that it is a good game. But it's a MOBA, and invariably other humans will always shit on your good time. <laughs> whether, whether the other humans are actively intending to shit on your good time, or just shitting on your good time through, like, you know, the osmosis of being around other humans <laughs> in general. I'm not really sure. Like, I played, a, I played a game the other day in Hero League yesterday, and I normally play tank, as you can see by Joanna. But I can play whatever. I can play, like, a fair amount of healers, fair amount of damage characters. Mostly heals after tank, but I can play damage, too. But, uh, I pick tank, and everybody's just like, Oh, I'm gonna play an assassin. I'm gonna play an assassin. I'm gonna play an assassin. Yeah, damage is cool. I'm 12. I'm gonna play an assassin. So everybody fucking picks assassin, because they're fucking stupid. And there's this, like, duel between the two last idiots also picking an assassin. Now, mind you, I'm plat 2. This doesn't... This doesn't make me a god or anything, but I feel like if you're in plat 2, the people that you queue with should have the base understanding and knowledge that they need to f like build a proper team with a healer. So there's this duel that goes on on the character select screen, and the, t the timer's ticking down. It's like 5, 4, and one guy's on fucking Li Ming, and the other guy's on fucking, I don't know, some, some stupid shit, some assassin. So it's Li Ming and this other thing. And they're both just sitting there, and it gets down to one second. And the dude who was playing whatever the hell switches to Lucio at the last second. And then, and then, and then they both pick. Then we get in the game, and Lucio's pissed because the other guy wouldn't heal. 
So he just decides to run around in circles for the entire game and do nothing. So yeah, you could be platinum ranked and you still get queued in with these assholes who just fucking tank on purpose. Like they lose on purpose because they're like petty 12 year olds. I don't understand it. It's really stupid. Anyway, that's why I hate this game. But I also actually <laughs> like this game when that doesn't happen. So that, that's sort of the plight of MOBAs. So here's what we're going to say, you know, hiya, folks. You got to be real happy trying not to tilt people. And then I say, tank. Usually Joe slash Arthas slash Mura, but can do others. Can also support or damage if we need it. Smiley face. So this is where you're like, hey guys, please don't turn into a bunch of goddamn wild animals and freak out before anything happens. So this is where we try to be nice. And sometimes it works out. All right, I like Taronda. Taronda's always happy. Or I'm, it's always a happy pick for me anyway. So, anyway, this is where you try not to get people to fucking tilt before the dang, damn game even starts, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But, uh, I like Taronda because I played, actually, the most Taronda and Joanna. Uh, I don't like her as much after her rework in Heroes 2.0. Like, when I came back, they, they took some stuff away from her. They gave her new stuff that's better. I mean, she's as good, a little better, a little worse in different areas than she was before, but she's just a little different. I don't have quite as much fun on her as, as I used to. Still like her, but I pretty much solidified my decision to uh, predominantly play tanks after the rework because I just didn't like Taronda as much. So yeah, these are my heroes that I mostly play, do stuff with. We're in the pick stage now of Heroes of the Storm, which takes uh, 10 million years to complete. Not a big deal. So Kale, Taronda, actually, I actually like this comp. I'm going to say that. I like this. <clears throat> the only thing I'll say about this is we don't have... Oh, wow. This guy likes me. Let's let's find a room together. Um, the only thing I'll, I'll say about this that I don't like is we don't have the best, like, brain-dead follow-up for Joanna. Um, Kayla's pretty good brain-dead follow-up for him, though. Um, but, like, Kara and Taronda aren't as brain-dead as, say, Malfurion. So, you know, we're going to be dependent on... Uh, Kara and Taronda doing good things. But, you know, this is plat too, so everyone should know what they're doing and definitely not run around in circles and lose the game on purpose. Right? Uh, they already banned Dahaka. Um, tell me. Shit, I should pay attention to this. Um, fall? Yeah, I like fall. So the reason we want to ban Falstead, in case you guys don't know about this game and you're like, Where the fuck is Street Fighter Metal Music Man? Street Fighter's dead, everyone. It it died of stage five incurable SFV. Um, anyway, yeah, he has a global movement ability, and so does Brightwing, and so does Dahaka, uh, as does Falstead. So basically this map is about controlling a, uh, a point at the top of the map and a point at the bottom of the map simultaneously. And if you control them both simultaneously, then you can go to the middle of the map and get a big dragon mech lord thing. You can get in that. And, uh, anal. All right. Oh, no, that says Anna. <laughs> hey! Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. I totally thought that said anal because that's what's on my mind. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, if you have characters that can fly or teleport, like, to different points of the map, uh, they're pretty good on this map, so they make sense for bans. And then they ban Grash because everyone who plays this game is a fucking idiot. <laughs> and they, they think that he's, like, the best character that ever lived. Uh, he's an annoying character, so everybody just bans him because they don't trust anyone to know how to play against him. Uh, is he going Ranger now? I will. So what do they, what do they have? I didn't look because I've been talking to you guys, staring at the screen blankly. Malthale, Varian, Zebo, Anna, Sonya. Okay. So here's the thing about this. Uh, Anna has to be really good, like, as a player, to not suck. So either we're going to win for free because this guy is bad or he's good. I have a tendency to think most people who pick Anna are probably good with her. So that could be annoying. We'll see. But Sonya and Varian are pretty good at dueling. Um, and Az is going to have a lot of poke. So they're pretty annoying. So we're basically going to need to get 
kills because they're just going to harass the shit out of us. Um, and that's going to be a little bit frustrating. But uh, I think their comp is maybe a little bit better than ours, if I'm looking at it. Um, but their, their heal is weak, is the thing, right? So, if this Tyrande's on her shit and uh, <clears throat> hits her combos and shit, I think we'll be good. Why am I with... Oh, man. There's so many lower plats in this game. I must be on, like... I guess I'm getting close to D-rank or something. I played a game yesterday where each team had all plat ones and twos and one Grandmaster. And the Grandmaster on her team was just like... What the fuck? So Grandmaster's like top 100 in the world online. Um, the Grandmaster on our team was a fucking salty bitch. And he just... <laughs> he just, as soon as the game started, he's like, What the fuck? I'm so fucking mad. I knew I shouldn't have queued. Blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, it just, it was downhill from there. You can imagine, you can imagine what happened. That's like, that's like the number one thing in this game. Is like, don't, don't get hella angry within the first millisecond of the game starting. All right, well, now that those guys uh, finished loading the game on their toaster potato computers, we can play now. I am always ready. Yeah, so Joanna's awesome. Let me talk to you guys about Joanna. She's from Diablo 3. She's a crusader, uh, which is sort of like a paladin, but she has the same douchey haircut as I do. Um, so that's fucking awesome and makes her a badass. Um, she's also a badass because she is brain dead and easy to play and really good. Um, so that's why I like her. She's not like top tier or anything, but she's never not been... She's never not been like high B or A tier. She's like, she's always relevant. That's why I like her. That's why she's my bae. All right, I'm gonna run in like a dumbass. I slowed Varian, which is really, really suboptimal. But maybe I can bait Malfail. Yeah, I can. Come on, guys, finish that. No? All right, fuck it. Yeah, double up. Boom. All right, this is why this character's fucking stupid. I went in and I did something really stupid. And people thought, I'm gonna go bot now, guys. Um, anyway, this character basically, uh, can just do really stupid things and it's kind of okay. Um, unless the other team is, like, really, really good with their poke, you're usually fine. So she makes, she makes opportunities. And that's a thing that I say. Anyway. Um, so that's the thing about this game is, like, tanking is all about making opportunities. It's not about taking damage. It's about setting shit up for your team so they do cool shit. And then taking damage is obviously good too, right? Like if you if you don't die. That's a secondary though. Your number one job as a tank is to create opportunities. You're like a <laughs> you're like a hiring manager at a at a firm. Go away, Varian. I don't care. Gonna kill these minions. Poke Varian while he is low level and doesn't have his. Uh, why doesn't. Why doesn't Varian have a sword? <laughs> hey, this is a ranked game, so I'm gonna try not to pay attention to the fact that Varian doesn't have a sword right now. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Anyway, Varian at level 4 becomes an. Well, he doesn't become a tank at 4, but he becomes much more tanky at 4. And pre 4, he's like a lot easier to harass. So now that he's going to hit 4 soon, not yet. But uh, when he hits 4, he can make himself invincible twice every, like, 8 seconds or something. Which is pretty fucking good, for obvious reasons. Alright, so these red lines, if you guys don't know anything about this game, they mean uh, the enemy team controls the top and bottom points. So it's done now. But it would have been my job to guard this dragon area. Um, so that Varian or someone on their team couldn't become the dragon. Got a BKT, yeah, that's cool. So these mages, guys, see how there's a mage? There's a blue mage and a red mage. The mages drop health globes, so when you kill them, you get uh, health and mana back. Uh, and then the other ones just give you experience and shit. So once again, I'm gonna look at this and try to keep people, just harass them, basically, from from taking this point. Varian's not stupid, so he knows there's no point in going up there. And, you know, he doesn't have a sword, so he can't even, he can't possibly hope to contest me. <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand why Varian doesn't have a sword. It's very perplexing. 
He's supposed to have a sword, obviously. That's, I've never seen that happen before. All right, we take a swig while the, while the action goes on. So th this is MOBAs, guys, like um, as a tank. You basically just stay in the mid lane right now. I could be floating, I guess, technically. And actually, I'm going to do that after this next wave since Varian's not doing shit to me. But I'm kind of paying more attention to talking to you than the game, which is, you know, great. Where are you going, bitch? That was... Oh, okay. All right. All right, she's going to sleep dart me. Anyway, you got to get experience early on in MOBAs. So you just got to, like, fucking stand here and do boring shit. And then once you hit, like, level 10, which we're getting close to, uh, once you hit level 10, you can do, like, better stuff and have fun. Oh, this tricky bitch! I've never seen that before. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way that's a thing, right? That would be ridiculous. If that was a thing, if she could, if you could just sleep dart me and capture it, that would be silly. Like, there's no way that lasts that long. Come on. All right, Karzim's heading to bot. He's our healer. I'm going to heal myself, which apparently dismounts me off my horse. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to get back on my horse, which is actually a dog. And, uh... I'm just going to harass Anna. I don't know why they have their only healer in mid by herself. That really doesn't seem smart to me. She's going to shoot me with a sleep dart. Okay, Karzim's going to push her out. She's going to die, and we're going to get the dragon. Oh, Sonya out of fucking nowhere. Damn. Good play by Sonya. All right. Go away, Sonya. Oh, you don't need to stay here, Karzim. It's all good. I don't know why I just used my D there. That was autopilot bullshit, but that's okay. Someone hit this well, and then I'm going to go back. Yeah, you're fine, Car man. It's all good, bro. All right. Go away, Nez. I don't like you. What are you up? Why? No. Oh, one spider got on me? Damn it. Alright. I'm gonna try and grab this again. Hopefully Karzim's gonna harass Naz. Oh, okay. I guess that's alright. I'm gonna get my ultimate ability now, which is pretty cool. Come here, Naz, you little shit. Go away, spiders. Now Sonya's on my dick. I don't want to use my ult here. All right. I probably should have killed Naz with Karzim. That would have been smarter. Kar, you need to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to waste my ult just so you don't die. Which is really dumb, but... That's what you made me do. That's what you made me do. Go away, spiders. Right, I'm going to clear this wave. No, leave me alone. You're, you can't do shit. Go away. Unfortunately, they did poke me down pretty good, so I'm not going to be able to defend super well right now. Malfail, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should probably back, but I don't want to lose experience, so I'm just going to chill out until I get my uh, Laws of Hope. Karzim will heal me up anyway. Guess we'll get this uh, health globe. Good deal. <clears throat> okay, it's pretty boring so far because this is a pretty boring map in the early game. Well, when you're a tank. You just kind of sit mid like this. Uh, so Sonya heals when she spins like a dumbass like that. So uh, if I use my pull ability, it stuns her briefly and she stops healing. So that's why I did that. They're going to break my walls down here, unfortunately, and kill my towers because there's two of them and only one of me. But I still want this experience, so I'm going to stay. I'm gonna back up now. Nice! Someone who wasn't me got it while they were busy fucking with me. Good job. Sonya is low. Bye, bitch. So that uh, thing I hit her with is a shield throw. Um, because Joe is a consummate badass, she also gets to pretend to be Captain America. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna kill this stupid gargantuan. This is Nazebo's heroic ultimate whatever ability. So that's dead now. I'm a little low on health, but I still have my trait, and I got healers nearby, so I'm going to hang out and try and help my team do stuff. It's counter push, guys. I like the counter push. No, they don't want to counter push. 
Okay, I'm gonna go up then. All right. I'm just gonna go up. I'm gonna ping that I'm going up here because I'm the leader, quote unquote. Isn't that funny? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. No? Come on, guys. Oh. No one followed up. Sometimes when you're trying to make things happen, people don't agree with you. They're like, no, I would prefer things did not happen, actually. That would be better. No, you're slow. Get out of here. Alright, I am out of mana, which is very unfortunate. So I'm going to ping runaway friends. We lost Taronda, but that's it. I do have my ultimate, but I don't even have enough mana to use it. So we're getting the fuck out of here, kids. Are they called ultimates in this game? Are they called heroics? I think they're called heroics. It's my super because I'm a Street Fighter player. So I just went back to base, and there I am. And uh, filled up my mana on health, and now I'm running back to... Probably not mid, actually. I'm going to meet Karzim down here. <clears throat> oh, so if you play other MOBAs and you don't know about HOTS, this is jungling in this game. Um, instead of getting, like, a random buff uh, that, like, makes you better at sieging, you get, like, ogres... You kill the ogres, and then the ogres fire for you, and then they throw shit at the enemy base. So that's cool, right? Uh, that's way cooler than just getting, like, an invisible buff that makes you slightly better at something. Like, they actively... They're, like, intuitive, basically. Just clearing this wave, so Sonya's got to deal with these ogres without any protection. It's going to make her take more damage. I don't know why someone just said a weird thing in my ear. I think that was Ana, maybe? I don't know what that was. There's like a global voice line bug in this game. Sometimes people talk to you from a million miles away. <laughs> the Sony doesn't seem particularly good. No, no, you're not leeching. Stop. I'm just kind of poking her down with my ogres right now. Uh, when I shield glare... Yeah, no, you're not leeching. Stop. Should I ult her? Oh, yeah. No! Oh, okay. So that was her ultimate when she leapt away. That was actually like perfectly timed. <laughs> Surprised she took that. Honestly, though, because that makes her do less damage when she has that leap. Better combos, though, so that's cool. Uh, I should get to the mid now, so that's where I'm gonna go. And we might be able to sneak a dragon here while the other team's being too stupid. Cap the point, guys! Cap bot! Oh my gosh, no, that's frustrating. Come on, guys. If you had done that earlier, we would have already had a dragon, man. Now I think someone's going to get to me. Oh. Lel. All right. Oh, why did I boot him? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Okay. Good job, Greymane. <laughs> that was epic. Greymane killed him out of the sky. I uh, That was almost bad for me. So you can punt people with this dragon, which is cool. Um, but, you know, if somebody's about to die, you don't want to punt them away, obviously. Which is what I just did, almost. But we'll pretend I just wanted to make it look cool for people. It's like Varian, like we don't want him anywhere near anyone, so like we're just gonna punt him away. Sees their tank. Just be like, get the hell out of here, Varian. Just gonna back up for a bit because I have more time than I have health. And we're gonna head bot. Get out of here, Varian. We're going to head bot. We're going to clear the wave. Retreat is not weakness. Um, there it is. Okay. I only have about 16 seconds, but I think I can get some good hits on this on this fort. No, they're just going to kill me. That's all right. That's all right. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to make things happen. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Make it happen, guys. Come on. Okay, there we go. Thank you. See that? It looked like what I did was bad. But it actually was good, because this character is very silly. Now, I might die here, though. Oh, Karzim is a god. Never mind. Karzim is a fucking god. Nice. We got two kills out of that. Perfect. All right. No. Go away, Nazebo. So, yeah, when, when Joe gets in the middle of everybody like that, she can pull them all in with uh, this big suck-in move like that. Whoop. And then she can slow them all, and then if I throw my Captain America shield at them, they're all stunned. So, uh, basically, you turn thing, you turn scrambles into opportunities, folks. All 
right, so we got their towers. Yeah, we can do this because I still have my uh, ultimate actually. So, whoops. I got body blocked there. I was trying to suck the ogres together. Got body blocked by one of my teammates. Um, so, anyway, we stole their ogres. So they're going to go attack. We're going to go to our ogres now. Right? Kale's going to go with me. Thanks, Kale Thos. You're a bro. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to come up to Greymane here and do this bruiser camp. So bruisers are kind of like ogres, but um, they do a little bit less damage, but there's four of them, so they're a little bit like tankier. They kind of last longer. They're a little bit a little bit more uh, resilient, a little bit less damage. Ogres can attack from range, but they're a little more fragile if they decide to kill them. Similar purpose, though. All right, I'm just kind of... Hanging out with Toronto here for a second. Make your wills it. My reactions were a little slow there because I was looking at what was up top. I think I probably should have just gone top just now. Uh, yeah, crap. Okay, Toronto's mid, so yeah, this is bad. They got both points right now. Uh, who do I have here? Everybody? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna stun Malthale. Fuck that. Die Malthale. Die Malthale. Die Malthale, please. We wanna kill Malthale, is what we wanna do. I don't know how my pull did not pull him at all. He must have gotten an unstoppable from Anna. Because he definitely was fucked there. That's alright. Um, I'm gonna take the point. Hopefully they don't have anyone mid. Nope, they do. They snuck it. That's alright. Um, let's see. They're pretty split, so we'll get a lot of damage on this dragon. Yeah, that, uh, that must have been a really pro uh, cleanse from the Anna. That's the only thing I could think of. Because I absolutely pulled... That Malthale, and he should definitely die. But look, they're, they're not going to get shit for this dragon. Well, if Greymane is smart and he runs away, they're not. Back up now, because Malthale thinks he's hot shit. Basically, anytime I'm low, uh, I have on a 20-second cooldown, drawn a straight iron skin. Gives me a big-ass shield, and it makes me unstoppable, which means I cannot be crowd-controlled or CC'd. So when she gets low... Uh, if you just use that when she's low, she pretty much always has, like, a free escape. Should I ult this Sonya? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hang on. Hang on. Here, no. Ult everybody. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go up to my room where we can do it all night. Oh, I gotta run from the spiders. Do it all night. All right. All right, so now I just got indestructible. A little Street Fighter action for you guys. Indestructible at level 20 means that when Joanna dies, instead of dying, she gets a shield that, I think it's a shield equal to her max HP? Yeah, equal to her maximum health of course. for four seconds. So it's uh, sort of like a cheat death, but when the shield goes away, you have zero health again, so if you don't get healed during that time, you're still kind of fucked. Taking a sippy. By the light. <laughs> See what I did there, guys? It's a very pro uh, gamer drinker move where you click your ability with your mouse while you drink your drink with your with your left hand. Very pro stuff. I don't expect you guys to be able to pick it up right away, but with enough practice and um, indiscriminate weekday drinking, uh, you too will be as good as I am at that particular maneuver. All right, this is a bad engage, so I just want to leave right now. Like, well, wait a minute. No, Greymane's... Oh, shit. We got to go now. We got to go because Greymane's fucking just hamming his ass off. Greymane, don't you dare die. Don't you dare die, Greymane. No, I just had to waste my ultimate on you. Could have done a cool combo with it, but instead, I had to waste my ult to save your ass. Don't you dare die, Greymane. Yeah, I think I'm... Okay, alright. Alright, maybe we can turn on him now, guys. I still got an indestructible. It's about to proc. There it goes. Alright. I'm gonna die for real now. They have no tank, because Greymane is an asshole. That gray main was super greedy there. Free him and destroy your enemy. Ah, you know what? I'm, even though I'm saying that in a nice way, he's still going to tilt, so I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> he's going to tilt anyway. So that was my first death of the game, because gray main's an asshole. Gray main didn't even die. I hope he's fucking thankful. <laughs> um... I don't know. I guess he was like, he had some of them low, but I didn't really like that choke point. Yeah, there we go. We're getting picks now. I didn't really like that choke point, even though we had 20 on them, because I was low already. Healers were, like, dispersed. It was just kind of messy. And the only person we really had a good beat on was Varian, and you can't fucking kill Varian for shit. Um, so, yeah, it just didn't look good to me.
<clears throat> anyway, I'm back up now. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have my cheat death for another 48 seconds because it's got a two minute cooldown. Um, because once again, Gray means an asshole. But that's all right. It's going to be up. It'll be up in time for something else good to happen. Yeah, yeah, I like bot. I like bot. I'm just gonna clear this wave with Mr. Dragon. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna kind of hang back here because the dragon is the front line. In case anybody decides to come, come through the back door. I'm a team. All right. Now they're going on the dragon. Yep. Here's our back door right here. So we fucking deal with it. Now she's gonna run away. Fuck it. Whatever. Yep. Let her run. So now it's a four v five. What's up, motherfuckers? Oh, you're taunting me? Okay, that's cool, I guess. We're just gonna retreat, we're gonna heal. I'm gonna back up, let the dragon take some damage. Um, Alright, who's in the dragon? Toronto? We didn't really get much for that dragon. Toronto's kind of bad with it, but that's alright. Oh, couldn't catch him. Uh, Toronto is stuck, actually, so we need to help her. All right, turn the bad situation into a good one, boys. Mm. Woo! Thank you, Karzim. Still got the old cheat death, and we killed their tank. So that Taronda was an asshole, and she made me do that when I didn't want to, but, um, you know, we got their tank, so it's all good. Oh, holy renewal, you're such a crazy talent. You really are. No, get off my homie. I can't, I can't stop his spin, bro. Sorry, man. All right, here we go. Who'd we lose? Kale? That's bad. We should get out of here, because fucking Malta's gonna clean house. Shit. I gotta do some damage now. Yeah, no, this is gonna be a full wipe. Damn it. Well, I blame Taronda. Taronda's bad, not your bad. I don't know why Karazim's apologizing. Shrines are gathering power. The all right, that's okay. Uh, we've still got all of our forts, and we're we have a huge lead. Um, but the way this game works, uh, since I've been narrating it as if, yeah, I don't know that we did, uh, Taronda. But you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, the way this game works is uh, as time goes on, uh, you get stronger. So you know they can blow through if they get this dragon here in four seconds, which they. Probably will get for free if they're not really stupid. Um, they can push a lot harder with it really quickly because it's a late game dragon as opposed to an early game dragon. Oh, Sonia, 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 Sonia. Uh, where am I? Where am I? I'm not there yet. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, I don't want to alter. I don't want to alter. And that's a shame. If I was just a little bit. A little bit faster. Yeah, so see how quickly they killed that fort? Took like no time at all, right? Yeah! Good shit, Taronda. Alright, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Tap the well, get some health. Oh, fucking goddammit, Greymane. Come on, man. We just did all the good things. Now I'm gonna lose my fucking... Oh, I don't even have my proc shit. Five seconds, I gotta go. Alright, I'm gonna back for health. They're gonna get a keep out of this because Greymane died. He should not have died. Yeah, see now, if Greyman hadn't have died there, we would have got more kills and they would not have gotten the keep just now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Kara. All right. Kill the tank, boys. It's Varian, I know, but we can do it. All right. All right. No, oh, Anna, you little bitch. No, 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 no. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, wow, Sonya is pushing. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Okay, my bad. I did not see that. That was stealthy. They're going to get keep damage for that, but we're going to get a Sonya kill. Actually, their keep is getting damage, too, so we're fine. They're not going to get any keep damage. Good deal. Okay. Whew. That was sneaky as shit, Sonya. Way sneaky. 
No, 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 no. I'm just gonna ult you because I don't want you to kill my people with some bullshit. Yeah. Naz has got. Oh god. Go away, mouth ill. Okay. Who'd we lose? Who'd we lose? Who'd we lose? Kale? Kale? That's not that bad. Uh, run away, Karzim. Run away. Alright. It's not good. Oh god, no! Fucking god damn it, Grimmy. This Grimmy's gonna be the death of me, dude. He's gonna give me a fucking heart attack. If they're three down, I think I can solo this camp. What the fuck, team fuck? Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, Grimmian had no reason to die there. He could have just stopped chasing at any point. He could have just turned around. It would have been okay. But, you know, he just decided he was going to fucking chase super hard for no reason. We want to take these off the map, even if they just kill him for free, so that we don't have to deal with them later. Basically what's happening right now. Man, this has been such a free game this whole time, and uh, late game Greymane is just way ham, man. Way fucking ham. And if he would just fucking quit being so ham, he'd be fine. I'm gonna kill this catapult, and then I'm gonna head to the top. Go away, catapult. Alright. There's a catapult in top lane that Karzim didn't kill. That's very unfortunate, but I don't want him to be up there by himself in case someone shows up and tries to contest. I hope no one's down there. Okay, thank goodness. All right, so I'm going to kill this wave. Hopefully, I think Greymane maybe got the catapult back there. He did. Okay, good job, buddy. You're doing something right. Of course. I'm getting a little hard on this Greyman. I mean, it's not like he's fucking terrible or anything, but uh, he's just made some ham decisions, which I'm never a fan of. I'm gonna stun you before you leap. What? Okay, no one ever picks fucking leap. <laughs> and apparently leap just like makes her immune to fucking stuns. I don't know. That's really unfortunate because I didn't secure the kill on her and now we don't now we have to deal with her in the team fight when I don't have it. Oh I really shouldn't be abandoning my backline, but I want this Sonya kill so bad. I'm I'm going full gray main, you guys. Full gray main. Full gray main. Okay. Alright, here's my cheat death. Oh, they're gonna get they're gonna get gray main. Yep, and they're going to get me, and that's going to be game. That's why you never go full gray main, kids. That's why you never go full gray main. That's game. Bummer. So uh, that, in MOBA terminology, is what you call throwing children, which is when you have... Yeah, yeah, it was quite the throw. Yeah, it was. It was, Jamie. <laughs> Great man. You're, you're not wrong about that, buddy. Anyway, uh, no, it's not even that. It's really just Great Main. Like, <laughs> Great Main. Great Main went so ham in so many team fights when he didn't need to. Anyway. Uh, this gray is probably gonna like whisper me like, "What the fuck did you say to me, you fucking blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I I mean, in my opinion, that's the main thing that happened there is like the gray main went super duper ham. Um, he created engagements on his own instead of like waiting for me or the team, and went off and tried to like backline by himself. Uh, it's just not a good idea because you know it's just risky. And then if gray main dies, it's suddenly a five v four. Um, and in my opinion, that basically let them win the game. Anyway, um, this was, uh, this was fun. Uh, I'm actually gonna skedaddle because I don't have time for two games tonight. I apologize, guys. But, uh, if you enjoyed this, you know, throw me a like. If you disliked it, uh, throw me a dislike, I guess. Um, but, you know, I don't really have any plans for, uh, Street Fighter-y stuff down the line. Um, I'm gonna try Arcade Edition when it comes out, but I think what you can probably expect from me is, um... Little stuff like this, which is like, you know, when I feel like playing a game and uh, doing some commentary, I think I'll do it. I'm going to try and finish my Black Mesa Let's Play. Might do some other series Let's Plays. Oof. D-rank next game. Anyway, try and do some other series Let's Plays maybe if I feel like it. And maybe, maybe stream Here's the Storm with my, with my homies or by myself. Or maybe just do stuff like this. I'm not really sure, you know, what I want to do with my life. But, um... It felt good talking to you guys, you know, per se, which is basically me talking to myself and then uploading it so you can listen to it later. But uh, it felt pretty good. It's first time in like a year. So uh, I'll catch you guys on the other side. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace!